Captain America is dead. In Steve Rogers' absence, the US government has named a successor. John Walker is the new Captain America, albeit minus the super soldier serum. In the final moments of the fourth episode of Marvel's The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, after secretly taking the super soldier serum, John Walker attempts to capture the terrorist Carly Morgenthau. However, during the confrontation, John's partner, Lamar, is killed. During the confusion, the terrorists escape. Drunk with power from the super soldier serum, John takes pursuit, and the audience and the world witnesses just what kind of person the new Captain America really is. Let's talk about continuity editing. An excellent example of this is as Walker jumps off of the truck. To visualize this, let's use the last and first frames of these shots. He ends the first shot with his left foot forward. The next shot starts with his left foot forward again and ends with his right foot forward. The shot after starts with his right foot forward as he lands. Cutting mid-motion is less jarring and hides these edits. These shots are then followed by an insert shot of Lamar's body. This anchors the scene and reminds the viewer of Walker's motivations. As the chase continues and Walker closes in on his target, the pacing of the edits mirror the thought process Walker goes through. At the start of the chase, each shot lasts on average around 2-3 to three seconds. As Walker gets more emotional and closer to his target, the pace quickens. As Walker strikes, the edits then become rapid fire with the shots not even lasting a full second. The rapidity of these cuts mixed with the close-up shots put the viewers in the mindset of Walker. His mind is moving too fast for him to make clear decisions. He is acting on pure emotional adrenaline and some super soldier serum. This is not an ideal mindset for a soldier, let alone a super soldier. The intensity of the scene is diffused momentarily with a two second reaction shot of the shocked crowd but then right back to more rapid shots. When I initially watched this scene, the first reaction shot of the crowd stuck out to me. I had it in my head that the scene would have been more effective without it. Let's watch the sequence without this reaction shot and see. It's subtle, but I find this to be more effective. Without the reaction shot, it keeps Walker's attention on exactly what is in front of him. He seems to not even realize that he is in a very public place until it is too late. This puts more emphasis on the wide shot because the audience realizes at the same time he does just how public his actions were. The scene serves one purpose, to show the audience that this is not the Captain America that we know and love and to prove that that is not a good thing. This is not the hero to root for or cheer on. The horror on the crowd's faces and our real hero's faces says to the audience, this is a bad thing that is happening. 
This scene showcases just how unique an individual Steve Rogers was. Captain America is the American dream personified. Steve Rogers fights for and defends everyone. He truly treated every person equally and never crossed a line that would compromise his own integrity, let alone his country's. On the other hand, John Walker personifies none of these traits. The brutal overuse of force and public murder of his targets showcases this. His actions are inherently immoral and unjust, the polar opposite of what the shield he carries represents.